Right, you seem to like it last time, so I'm going to play a few holes with Vanula again, see if there's anything I can help her with, or just maybe watch her hit some good shots, hopefully. Um, bit of a junior lesson, hopefully. Vanula's got her handicap now, she's off 37, to give you an idea of her standard. She can lose balls to the right, but she knows how to fix it. Let's see where we are today. Yeah, good hit. A little up the left. Oh, it's going to be fiery links, but good shot though, Finny. Good shot. Good out to the right. Watch it because it'll keep going that up by the T. It's good. Very good. Let's have a look at where your grip is at the minute then, because so your right hand grip has a tendency of getting a little too far under, which we're just keeping our eye on. Yeah, that's good. It could even go a fraction more on top. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice, just there. So that's why your tee shot turned a bit further left. Yeah. Because that grip just tends to slip a little bit this way for you. Okay, so keep it. Yeah. Keep Use it. that ping logo, let the ping logo go right up between thumb and first finger, basically. Okay. Lovely. Mm. So I've just been told off because we didn't film Fanula's chip because we we're going to do another hit. And she chipped in. <laughs> and a camel. <laughs> Not impressed. Caught good hit. It's a little up the right. Watch it. You see it running? So a little bit more wrist angle. Just bring that back a bit more rather than hang it out there. But good shot. So a decent tee shot for new. Where do you think you have to land this one then? Go up and stand by where you think you have to land it for me, can you? Yeah, if you land it there with the slope, it's going to be hard to stop it when it's firm. But that's your best chance. If you didn't have the path here, you could almost hybrid putt this. Just needs a good strike. This is downwind, you see, which will have an effect. So the right idea, just knowing it hard enough. Have you got another ball to learn from that one? Yeah. Put it on a nice slide. That's it, that's good there. That's fine, that's a good drop. So you played that one well, strike-wise. Just didn't throw it far enough. Bit bigger, bit faster swing. Oh, again, so that threw further. Look where it's done. It's done pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so your original landing spot wasn't a bad idea. It even could have been shorter. That's it, just need to feel that distance a bit better. So we're gonna have a putt now. Because it is pretty flat there. And she's gonna read the slope. Yeah, that's a good putt for now. It's coming all the way down the slope. Pretty good effort. Quality of strikes, what I wanna see in the chipping. Also the imagination of where to land it. I liked her thoughts there, what she was trying to do, where she was trying to land it. Execution, it's practice, isn't it? Doing it more often, doing it on repeat, so you can trust you can do it when you need to. I'm not sure where mine's run to. I'm going to leave Fanula to pick her own club. Yep, if you're ready, Fanu. Let's see if she can work out her third shot. I think she's chosen a seven iron, which is the club I would have chosen for her. It's a good hit. Just short front of the green. Very good shot, Fanu. Excellent. Right on line. Was that your seven iron? Yeah. Good choice. I think I said it before in the last one. You've got to. I want her to be able to play without me not relying on me every time with questions of what club and what have you um, and that was a great example there that she's really progressing on to be able to trust her own ideas of clubbing don't know where my ball is <laughs> it's so runny at the minute it could be anywhere um, it wasn't the right club I just wanted to do it in my driver but love to see her you know really having the confidence to choose a club and in that occasion choosing the right one ah. I've rolled in the big pot bunker. 
Right, so I'm 127 yards. This is obviously a bunker, isn't it, for new? Yeah. I'm gonna move a stone. Um, how do you play bunker shots? Do you play them? You've got to get to the sand first. Okay, so you're trying to hit the sand, aren't you? Yeah, lots of speed. Yeah, so this is different. Well, I might not get over this lip because it's quite big, but what I'm gonna try and do is pick this clean. Okay. So I'm gonna try and take, if I take any sand after, pick it off the top mm -hmm. because I don't want to splash it out you want to get it I need I need to make 127 yards up so I've got a wedge which is hard to reach but I've got to get over that lip which I might not do oh. so I took too much sand yeah which is why it's gone 80 rather than 127 but I'm trying to pluck that off the top so different to your Bunker. Yeah, these ones, full shot, you got to just try and spin it, you know what I mean by that? Yeah. So Lock it. So unfortunately for, for now, with all the best tuition in the world, you still got to execute a shot. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, so I need to pitch and putt now. Spin. Stop, stop. Give me a chance, myself a chance of a play out. So what are you going to do with that one for now? Chip. Okay, yeah, why would you not chip it? More accuracy. You feel more accurate with your putter over the big slope? Oh, yeah. Why don't you put two balls down okay. and test your theory. One with your S and one with the putter. Right, she's going to go putter first, which is definitely the right choice, I would say that as well. It's always nice to self-discover sometimes though, isn't it? Okay, and a chip. So definitely not really reading the slope so well there. So Fanula's a member here at Dawlish, but she doesn't get out here that much. She plays more at Stover, where she's a member with my parents. Kids' memberships are so cheap. She does get tricked by the link slopes easily. So she's thin that. So we'll do them again, but really none. I mean, this is slightly closer, but it was a worse shot, but no advantage there. Chip first? Yeah. Okay. So she's gonna chip first now. Better strike needed. But she's done, but she's left it. That might come back to your feet. No, it's stuck now, putt. What's the other club you could putt with? <laughs> so maybe are they a bit better for the long one because it's power based. So they're easier to hit a little harder because they've got a little spring and a little bit of loft. Let's see what the hybrid does. Okay, so that definitely is the better result. The putt's going to work more than the chip nine times out of ten so you had the right idea and even your putter could have been the best club but you've just got to you know react to some of the slopes a bit better yeah. one more go this is a putt not a chip putting grip stand upright it's a putt not a chip yeah so again that hybrid might just help you get some of the distance when you've got massive the gravities against you there as well as the distance, yeah? yeah? So what have you chosen? Seven? Yeah, one, four, one. You need a bit of bounce with that. I do think hybrid will go too far. Why don't we hit both and see? I think seven's not reaching. Try hybrid. Go on, let's see what the hybrid. I think it, if you rip it, it'll run through the back. But if you get an average hit, it could work. Yeah. So, aim middle of the green, not that flag's on the right, okay? Is that good? Yeah. Good hit. Again, just a little bit more flattening of that wrist just towards the right hand bunker. Definitely the hybrid. See that running up? It's the seven won't reach. So that's 141 yards, it's telling us. So when we get to the point where we have to really think about you thinking about actual measuring distances, yeah. hybrid at the minute with a bit of rolls around 140. Yeah. So a little bit of grass around that ball. So having the S to get a bit of height is good for now. You want to try and land it near the front edge. So it's like a three quarter whack. Like. 
Yeah, but you've got to make sure you contact the ground, so we want it popping in the air. Yeah, yeah, let's pop it up. Yeah, very good. Good shot. That'll run because it's out of the rough, so it won't have any stop, but that's a good result if you can two or three putt from there with your handicap. Yeah. That's a five net three. Well done. You seen any break, Fanula? Uh, down that way, just like in the middle of the putt. Yeah, it might go this way a little, but it's going to be about you getting it some good pace on it, which is the heart of it. Let's see if we can run one down. That's a pretty good putt, much better. Good reaction there. Yep. Getting that to the hole. So unlucky that would have been a good two putts. It's the second one, just didn't quite read it, but yeah. um, that's still a net par. So some good shots in there and obviously loads that still need working. Putting definitely still needs working and chipping is getting there. She's definitely making a few better strikes and starting to imagine where to land it, things like that now, which is great to see. It's about trying to make them for me, make them make decisions. You try and also push in a certain way, but letting them self-discover is always the best way of learning. Where's the trouble here, Fanny? The trouble, that way. Off to the right, where have you been hitting it? Off to the right. So you're gonna aim and wrist here. Because okay. left is not great, but it's found. Brilliant shot. It will draw left of the bunker. Very, very good shot, Vanula. And also for me, it's about giving Vanula and Milo starting to play now weapons so they can do things like that. It's not always going to come off, obviously, because golf always wins, but if they've got the option to be able to take that right side out of play when it is the trouble, if they've got the skills and certainly the toolkit to be able to do that, it makes golf more enjoyable. Thanks for watching. What did you say, Fanu? See you later. Goodbye. <laughs> and what, what, what's happened down there? Well, there's a subscribe button down there. Yay, that's the one. Yeah, click it.